Hello guys, this is XOOX, and I'm back with another little secrets video. Now, to follow up on the video I did about this three secret chest locations or tomb locations, I actually accidentally found something else. Now, I just wanted to be honest and not make this a clickbait video. You're not gonna see any special riches, maybe except for one, which is not so special, but yet it's still there. So let's get straight into it and make this a short one. We are gonna go to Kindle Wastes, which is right here. And then I'll show you what the POI we are aiming for is. Uh, I was actually trying to scout the map for further locations uh, of tombs and uh, anything else hidden, like uh, treasure-like, and looking for structures that were not, not so organic, but more straight lines. And I came across an area over here. And now while we're gliding, I can just point it out. I was looking at these two because they look very squarish. So I thought, okay, I'll go there and have a look. And I accidentally fell down this hole. And I landed on top of a roof of a building. Um, but let's save that for just a moment. I'll show you. We're going to go past to the right of this big uh, castle, which is just a placeholder, of course. And then we have something here hidden in the depths and shroud. And it's not just in the shroud, it's actually down in the deadly shroud, but it'll become obvious in a moment. So we're going to drop down on this ledge. Because this is where I thought, oh, no, but there was nothing here. So I thought, okay, maybe it's under me. So we're going to drop down here. And oh, then we come to this ledge. And I was like, wow, almost fell down this hole. And then decide, okay, let's see what happens down here. And then I spotted this. And initially just landed on here on the roof. And I have to tell you now that if it's not obvious, I'm in my cheat account with the Wiimote installed. Because I found out as soon as I got here, it comes deadly. And I tried to run around as fast as I could to see if anything was, you know, like doors and stuff like that. But I found nothing before I died, so let's just show you here. There's pretty basically nothing here. But we can drop down a little bit. And you see it's actually quite a big structure, but it gets, gets even bigger. So another ledge. And what I think this is, because why is this here? Well, it must be for the next update or one of the coming updates. Um, because why is there still Deadly Shroud, uh, even though I'm max level and all that? So this is probably a placeholder for something to uh, discover once we get high levels. Drop down even further. Look how big this is. It's crazy big. I think it might even be one of the highest or biggest buildings in the game. And then I decide, okay, let's see what, what's in here. Well, these are basically just windows. There are no interesting locations here. It's actually just one big placeholder, unfortunately. But they did do a lot of work on it, so it has to be for something eventually, right? Another room here, which is empty, of course. A lot of space around here. Again, look how big it is. It's crazy. Um, another empty room, another window, we can go out here, just keeps going, for a little bit at least. And that's pretty much the same thing all the way. A little, a little bit more here. And just to give you an idea, we fell down here, and we are all the way over here now. So it's really big. Um, of course I can't tell you what's gonna be here, maybe it's another bus sorts it would be an ideal place for a guy like that to live maybe um i just want to go around here and see if we can get back to the other side or if we're gonna encounter nope there it is so see now we're back at the start and uh yeah that's the first point of interest so now you've seen that pretty much just a placeholder now i'm gonna spare you for a little bit of a cheat here because I don't want to walk to a place where I can pass travel unless I can here of course nope so I'm gonna log out and then when you see me again I will already be on my way to the next point so we're back again 
And this time we are going to go to another fast traveling point. Uh, that is the closest I can use for that. Oh yeah, it's this, this place here. And I was thinking like, why is there still deadly here? But at, And also you can see there's clear signs of a structure here. So let's go to Low Meadows. And this is, uh, you know, Seward Rest, so it's right below that. And I guess some of you might already have found it because you can actually go through a cave from Seward's Rest and uh, down to an area that is uh, then, of course, deadly. So no one has really been there unless they have the cheat mod. We're going to place a uh, waypoint here. And then we're going to get up high here. And jump out. Let's see if we can land there because the area is is surrounded by deadly shroud of ground or lava which i can't walk on unless i jump like crazy uh, then yeah, i can survive for, for quite a bit um but hopefully we can just fly there which is easier there's sweat rest up on the top left and we're gonna keep our safe here and if you're trying to do this and you land in a deadly shroud, you know, just start jumping like crazy. Helps if you have double jump. Uh, let's see. If we can... Oh, we made it across. Oh, here it is. I see it's quite large, large buildings. And um, I have dumb enemies on, so I'm not going to pull them. Basically, you can see this is like, almost like a, a harbor castle or something. A lot of little levels and places you can uh, already now, even though it's deadly, you can steal stuff. Uh, pick up stuff. It's, it's more or less just the same as we already know. Or it is, uh, so nothing exciting there. Um, but if you have a look at the place, you can see it extends all the way out to the edge of the map. Uh, so we're just gonna have a look here and see what else is around. Some uh, basements here with the uh, crates, of course. Got some boats lying around. Again, don't go down to this, and if you do, jump like crazy. If you have the Wii mod, um, let's go up here. Again, sort of just uh, keys. Upper keys with a few chests in there, and then we have the center building, which is a quite high tower. Now, I did climb this tower because oh, Jesus, I hate when it does that because I thought okay, there might be something in the tower, but there's actually no way to get up there, so I started pickaxing my way through and eventually got quite high up. But it's it's empty, so no reason to go up there. This room, is, however, is not empty. We have a brute. Slash him down. And now let's see the amazing loot that I promised you. Wow. <laughs> so he is definitely a placeholder. The first time I came here, he had a legendary level 1 wand. So yeah, <laughs> nothing exciting, but at least I was honest about that. Um, so yeah, I guess this is going to be another point of interest for exploration once we get more levels to play around with. Uh, because he's obviously a boss, so yeah, you have to fight your way through all this uh, and get to him eventually. But yeah, for now, you can just basically explore it and get an idea of what's gonna happen here. So yeah, I'm gonna try and keep finding places like this because I think there might be a few more. Uh, maybe not in Deadly Shroud, but at least somewhere hidden, some semi-hidden. Uh, but yeah, I hope you found this funny or interesting or uh, yeah, got something out of it. Um, but yeah, for now, that was just my short video. And uh, if you haven't seen the chess video already with the three secret locations, go and uh, check that out. And until the next video, I just want to say thanks and see you around in the next one. Bye.